And pets, it's a good thing that we're mentioning them because I know we've yeah. been talking a lot about cold weather and uh, pets, obviously those that stay outside are very much affected. Yeah, you've got to bring them in. I'm worried about pets. You hear us say uh, pets and pipes when mm -hmm. it gets this cold and definitely our pipes are going to be something we need to worry about, especially after the new year. The start of 2018 looks very cold. High temperatures are not going to make it out of the 20s. In fact, we're going to see several consecutive days with below freezing temperatures. Here's a look at our current conditions right now in Nashville. Well below freezing right now. The temperature at 20 degrees, but the good news is we've got a nice calm wind here in the Music City, and that is the same all across the mid-state at this time. 23 over in Rutherford County at this time looking out at their square. Nashville looking good too from this camera. It's a different view over downtown. It's coming in with a reading of 22. Over in Montgomery County in Clarksville, they've got a temperature right now at 25. So a welcome change from those teens that we saw early yesterday morning, but it's still very cold. 19 right now in Dixon, still seeing the teens down in Columbia this morning. 18 degrees is your current temperature. 19 over in Parsons, 18 in Lafayette and 21 is our temperature in Crossville at this time. Wind speeds, I just want to show you this because it's a lot better. Yesterday we were seeing them coming straight out of the northeast at sometimes gusting up to about 15 miles per hour. They are nice and calm this morning. Uh, you're not going to have that wind chill factor this morning like what we saw for yesterday. Mostly sunny skies to start off for the morning. 30 degrees at 10 o'clock by mid morning. At lunchtime we warm up to about 35. We'll see partly cloudy conditions going throughout the afternoon. High temperatures today are going to be right around 40 degrees across the area. Some spots, especially in southern middle Tennessee, might even hit the low 40s today. Heading home from work, we're not expecting any kind of problems on the road. In fact, we're going to see partly cloudy to clear skies heading into the evening hours. 33 at 6 o'clock with that very light wind out of the northeast. Now we've been talking over the last couple of days about our New Year's Eve forecast and chances for snow. I want to show you these models yet again this morning because good news, they are in agreement for two days in a row and, and that's a win compared to earlier this week uh, when they were just going back and forth with the chances for some snow. This is that American model not showing any snow for us on New Year's Eve night or New Year's Eve day. This European model that was flirting a little bit with some snow uh, early during the morning yesterday has completely dried off. We are not looking at any snow potential there, but because the models have been so inconsistent, keeping just a very light chance in because you know, honestly, at this point, it wouldn't surprise me if they got back on that snow bandwagon. We'll continue to watch these model updates as we go throughout the afternoon. But one thing we know for sure, looking at that seven day forecast is it's going to be very cold starting on Saturday afternoon, lasting all the way through about the afternoon on Wednesday. We will not rise above freezing. That is several consecutive of days in a row where we don't see temperatures get above that 32 degree mark. In fact, on Wednesday and Thursday, I'm still expecting our high temperatures to stay in the 20s. So very cold temperatures expected. Check out that overnight low on New Year's Day single digits, nine degrees, and the wind chill will become a factor again once we go into the new year. So we are looking at temperatures feeling much colder than what you're seeing there on that seven day forecast. Time right now is 417. We'll head back to John Wolf.